Hey, what's going on, guys? Swagalicious MC here, and welcome back to some more Skyblock on Prime MC. Now, guys. Apparently, Skyblock reset just like yesterday or the day before. I was not in... I, I don't think they had it on their forums. Uh, then again, I haven't really been checking their forums recently, but Skyblock reset. So, welcome to Season 3 of Skyblock, I believe. This is uh, Skyblock 5.0, but this is our third uh, Prime MC season of Skyblock. So... If you want to see more of this, just be sure to absolutely crush that like button down below. But, um, yeah. So, I don't know if, they's, if they've added anything new. Because, as I said before, I was not informed there was going to be an update. I haven't really been checking the forums in a while. I didn't even know if it's on the forums. So, um, yeah. We're going to kind of be uh, learning all this together, guys. But, anyways. Uh, at the moment, we have 3k... Uh, because we voted and I have three voting keys that want to open and uh, oh, okay So look the crates are just down here. So let's see. Did they change the rewards at all? Uh, okay, no doesn't look like it. So the, the rewards are still the same Now, uh, let me quickly check the shop. I just want to see if anything has really changed that much uh, Since the reset it actually seems like everything's the same price. Let me see. Oh, oh No, this is Wait, wait, wait a second. Hold on a second. All of... All of these spawners are like... 50 to 100k. Okay, so there's a new economy. Or, well, a new, um... Uh, like a d different economy is what I should say. Not a new economy, but, um... Okay, then, so what's the money prizes we can win from voting? Are they... Okay, no, so they made them less to go along with that change. Okay, so... Spawners are a lot cheaper, but... It's harder to get money now. Okay, so I balanced everything out. So I guess let's go on with our first voting crate key. Kind of already opened it, but you know, whatever. So I'm hoping for either the diamonds or the two. Oh, we got the two. Yes, okay. There we go. So we just basically doubled that one key into two keys. But let's just go with our next voting key. And, uh, okay, you know what? There, there's nothing really even that good in this one. So I'm just going to immediately close out that iron ingots. Honestly, right now, I, I I guess I'll just put them in my player vault. I mean, who knows? Maybe I can m make something out of them. I don't really know right now, but just anything we get for putting in our in our player vaults, unless it's dirt or cobble or something bad like that. But okay, we have a chance at getting uh, a chicken and a cow spawner in this. And dang it, we got MC MMO. But I, you know what? I guess MC MMO. That actually, I can't really complain about that, but unfortunately, we did not get the spawner, so that's kind of why I'm bummed out, but we still have two crate keys to go, so let's go with our next one. This one, this one actually has nothing but good stuff in it. I mean, emeralds I wouldn't mind, gold I wouldn't mind, money I wouldn't mind, and obviously, I'm still going for that spawner, you know? If we get a spawner on our first episode, that... Do we get a spawner? Are you serious? Oh my gosh, thank you, Prime MC. They heard my request. Okay, well, let's see if we can get another one. And, uh, okay, dang, it doesn't look like we're going to be getting another one. Uh, you know what? I'm just going to immediately close out this one, too, since there wasn't much good stuff in there. But, Diamond Helmet. Uh, okay, I guess, I guess I'll go ahead and put that in my PV. And I just realized, we can we can get our, um, uh, Myth Kit if it's, yeah, it's still, it still actually is giving us our Myth Kit back from two seasons ago. Where we opened uh, a boss rewards crate key, if you know those, and actually unlocked kit myth. So, that, I, I guess it's always nice that we start off with some tools. Although, I do think they should have a starter kit for non-donors. Because, at the moment, uh, the only way you can get tools is by going to your islands and, like, crafting them, starting from wood. So, that, that and that's honestly really hard, guys. But, anyways, let's just quickly see. Uh, so, we got a pig spawner. Let's go to Slash Shop. So, how much are these things actually worth? Um, let's quickly... Is there... W w pig Spawner, where are you? Did I... Have I already gone past it or something, or did I... Oh, Pig Spawner. Okay, right there. 50k. That's actually pretty good, considering... Um, Zombie Pigment is 65. Iron Golem, 75k. So, uh, yeah. Now, I... I don't know if I want to sell this or not. Let me quickly type Slash Spawner. I want to see... How expensive? Oh, okay, so they actually uh, balance this out as well. So to change it to an iron golem spawner, 
we need 27k. So let me quickly go create an island. The original island duo or black diamonds. Um, you know what? I'm just gonna go with the original. I mean, sorry if that's kind of boring, but island duo I don't really like because it pretty much already sets up a uh, kind of good looking island for you. And you know, I kind of want to do it my way so that it looks like what I wanted to, not what it automatically gives to me, you know? So, uh, yeah. But anyways, let's go, uh, let's go into the slash shop real quickly and let's see what actually sells for the most here. So, uh, we got nether warts so far. That, that, that's the, this is the most expensive thing I've seen. 150 for nether warts. Uh, saplings. Okay, so they actually reduced the price of saplings. If you guys didn't know, before the reset, they sold for 1k per, which is a little OP, so they reduced that by a lot. And, uh, let's see, so, uh, pumpkins, pumpkins take forever to grow, though, so I don't think I'm gonna wanna do that. Carrots, 150, uh, are there potatoes? Oh, yeah, there are, right here. Uh, potatoes are 90, though. So, um, let me think about this. I think I'm gonna go with potatoes, because potatoes... They're $180 to buy them, and they're $90 to sell them, whereas carrots are $360 to buy them and $150 to sell them. So this, you can sell them for about half the price of what you can buy them for, which is normally about what you want. Whereas this one, they sell for less than half of what you can buy them, so if that makes any sense at all. But uh, same thing with Nether Ward. I mean, that's $870 freaking dollars. I'm, I'm not buying that right now. Anyways, I went ahead and bought some grass and some wood, so, um, I guess I'll start off expanding it down this way, and, uh, who, maybe we can, maybe we can even get some money this episode, I mean, that would be always nice, we already got about 3k from voting, which is actually considered more money now that, um, Prime MCX reset and revamp the economy and all that. So uh, that's uh, that was actually pretty good, guys. I'm gonna vote every single day just so I can get that extra 3K. You know, it it helps. So um, actually, real quickly, the, I, I I just thought of something now that I'm building all of this. Do I still have slash fly and all that? I mean, I should, but uh, okay, yeah. So I do. Um, I guess I'll go ahead and do this in slash fly just to make it a little bit easier on me uh and okay well we have, we're, we have a cow named lucky over here D i i mean I, I i guess we can keep him here is he gonna get cleared by enemies or anything low because that would be that would, that would be pretty saddening if he just disappeared randomly you know so anyways let's just go ahead and um craft this into wood planks get a crafting table get some sticks, because I want to craft some fences around this, and actually, you know what, let's just quickly go ahead and cut this tree down, and, uh, did I, it, is there a, oh, there's a sapling right here, okay, for some, I, I thought I didn't get a sapling at first, and I was gonna say, that was one of the most unlucky trees I've ever had, but anyways, I guess we can go ahead and just plant that if it's okay, if the, the chest was glitching out for some reason, I guess we can, oh, nope, shoot, wait, slash fly, okay, it's a good thing, wait, I just, I just disabled it. Okay, well, we already fell off our island. That is like, I don't even know. It's just like a tradition now. Every single time, almost every single episode, uh, when I'm first for when I'm first starting Skyblock, I fall off. I don't even know why, but okay. So uh, I'm sorry. We're gonna I'm gonna have to punch you this way because I. Oh, okay. Now just no. I we don't no. Well, okay. We almost killed Lucky, guys. We don't wanna. Is it? Get, no. Go go this way. Okay. Go back that way. Okay? No, so No! We killed him! We just killed him! Rest in peace, Lucky. Okay, well... That didn't end too well. Uh, but anyways, as, as we were, uh, as we were about to do before that happens, uh, let's go ahead and craft some fences. I, I just said craft. Okay, that's- uh, no, 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 I meant craft some fences, guys. So let's go, uh, place these all down just around here, I guess, and, uh, do I really, I don't, I don't think I'm really gonna need some in the front, and, uh, I just realized we actually have some more grass, let's go ahead and expand this thing a bit more, because we do want this to be kind of big, otherwise we're not gonna make, like, any money off of it, 
And uh, we also need some water, I just realized. Didn't even think of that before, but luckily I did just now. So let's go do that. I would have probably been sitting there wondering why my potatoes were kept on uh, falling or, what or whatever. And I then I'd eventually realize it's because of the water. But luckily I realized it before that actually happened. And okay, we just fell off the island again. Uh, slash fly. Uh, slash is. Okay, let's go down here. Now for some reason, water doesn't affect crops if it's falling like down into the void at least that was the case uh back in my previous season of skyblock i honestly do not know why but uh that was that, that that for some reason that was uh what was going on with um crops and all that so i guess i'll go ahead and uh cover this up just a little bit here just so we still have a bit of an entrance i'm probably gonna move these somewhere else later and i guess let's just go ahead grab our iron hoe and uh start plowing all of this down and i might want to actually check because i am elite rank at the moment if i go ahead and type t in chat i might actually want to go and check if they change the perks for elite or anything like uh, if i get any more commands now because they do do they do actually do that occasionally so uh anyways now that we got all of that hoed down i guess we can go ahead and start planting all of these potatoes down here now i think this is only gonna end up uh using like half of the potatoes we have right now just like oh uh, actually a little bit more than half we're already down to 32 i am gonna try to expand this though in the future and uh may i'm, pro I'm probably gonna end up building other farms as well since um i mean uh, we, we can't just have one potato farm even if it does hold like 48 potatoes but i guess let's go ahead throw that in there we actually have a little bit more saplings so you know what I'm going to do? Let me quickly go back into my kit selection. Elite 2. I have that because, I, as I said before, I am elite rank. So if I go ahead and grab that... Uh, oh, whoa, that actually gives me a lot of stuff. I should have done that at the beginning of the episode. So um, I guess what I can do is start building out this way. And, you know, I guess it would be nice to have a tree farm be just to kind of get some wood for free. Because at the moment, um, I only have about 1.6k... And, uh, that, that, that's not gonna be enough to buy, uh, too much wood. So I guess I'll just go ahead and, uh, wait, I keep forgetting I have slash fly. Let me quickly use that to go ahead, finish this up. And there we go. So we actually have one piece of grass left. I guess I can just go ahead and throw that in there. So, uh, I guess I'll go here, here, and here, I think. I'm, I'm hoping, I hope, I'm hoping that'll all grow, uh, like it's supposed to, but I guess we can go ahead and add some more fences around that. Now, I don't really know what I want the design of my island to be. Uh, like, what I mean by that is back in my first season, I kind of had this island that had a bunch of, uh, bridges going off to, like, all the things that I had on the island, and on my previous season, I just kind of had this, uh, big flat area with all my things, uh, on the edges of the island, if you know what I mean, so I don't really know yet, but I guess I'll just go ahead, for now I'm just gonna leave it like this, I'm probably gonna revamp this either in between episodes, or maybe, maybe I might do that in part of next episode, but okay, there we go, uh, I think that's gonna have to do for now, and uh, some of these potatoes are actually already growing. That is actually not too bad. And uh, let's quickly see. How much do these sell for? Because right now, I'm not really concerned about getting my island level up. Uh, right now, I'm just mainly concerned about uh, getting money. And well, once I get enough money to, then I'm going to start worrying about my island level. So this pig spawner, I guess I'll put right there. Just so it kind of stands out and doesn't get lost in my PV like everything ends up doing. And uh, hold on a second, we don't need that one piece of dirt in our PV. Why'd I even put it in there? I don't know. But let's just go into the shop then. So there, uh, minerals, 64, 64 diamonds only sell for 1,280? Wait, seriously? And, uh, wait, it, and it costs 20,000 to buy them? Almost 20,000? Yo, what the heck is this? Okay, and iron ingots only sell for $67, so they really revamped the economy. Okay, well, um, I guess, let me go ahead, and, uh, it doesn't look like, can you even sell redstone? Uh, okay, you can for 50 for 16, so I guess I'll go ahead, craft that into ingots, craft that into ingots, and craft that into ingots. Now, I didn't see 
anywhere where you could sell lapis so you know I guess we can go ahead and kind of start already making our island look nicer just by placing some lapis blocks around here I don't I don't think these actually increase your island level at all I'm pretty sure it's just gold iron emerald and uh, diamonds but you know it does honestly make it look nice and uh, yeah Okay, so we can sell our redstone for $703. Let's go back into minerals. Sell our iron for $94. And sell our gold for $225. Okay, so that brings us back to about 2.5k. Alright, so that, that, was, that actually made us a, a little bit of money. And how often can I get that kit? Is it every day? Uh, okay, no, so it's every two days, and you know what, I guess I can go ahead and grab this elite kit, maybe I can auction, uh, these items on the auction house, speaking of which, are there any, like, uh, spawners, uh, for cheap, uh, for, like, a cheap price on here? I mean, actually, I, d I doubt anyone would sell one for 2.6k, so, um, okay, well, obviously, this guy doesn't know the economy reset, since he's selling a chicken spawner for 350k, but, you know, I probably wouldn't have known as well unless I had checked like I did in the beginning of the episode. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this video here. If you guys want to see more of this series, be sure to absolutely slam that like button down below. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. Share this video with your friends and I will see you guys in the next one.